sure April we knew the topic of today is Lupasi Kampuzi Avik Etru. Before watching the whole video, do subscribe my channel. Now, what is Lupasi Kampuzi? Lupasi Kampuzi is one of the tenses used to talk about the action that took place or work completed in the past. So, in English, Let's see the example. I have stayed, but we can also say I stay. Now, the perfect tense in French is made up of two different parts. That are, let's see the formation. In formation, we will see the two different parts. The first one is present tense of the verb that means meaning to be. Second, a part of the verb called the past participle like born or went. So, first of all, let's learn the conjugation of actual verb. Je suis, I am, tu es, you are, il, elle, on est, he, she is and the one is. Nous sommes, we are, vous êtes, you are, il, elle, sont, they are. Passé composé. All the, most of the verbs use our verb as a helping verb. But, one group of 14 verbs use the present tense of actual verb. And these verbs are usually known as or remembered as Dr. Mrs. Wender Tram. Let's see the verbs which uses actual as a helping verb and see their past participle. The first is descendre and the past participle is descendu and the meaning is to get down. Next, reste and the past participle is reste and the meaning is to stay. So it's for doctor. Then, monte, monte and the past participle is monte. The pronunciation is same and the meaning is to climb. Second, retourne and the past participle is retourne only and the meaning is to return. Next, sortir and the past participle is sorti and the meaning is to exit. So, it's for misses. Next, now again we continue with Dr. Mrs. Vendor. So, Vendor starts with Vani. And the past participle is Venu. And the meaning is to come. Next, Ale. Past participle is Ale. And the meaning is to go. Next, Netre. Past participle is Ne. And meaning is to born. Next, Duvenir. Past participle is duvenu and the meaning is to become. Next, entre. Past participle is entre, meaning is to enter. Next, rentre. The past participle is rentre and the meaning is to return. So, this is for vendor. Next, Tramp. So here we start. Tombe. And the past participle is tombe. Meaning is to fall. Next, revenir. Meaning the past participle is revenue. And the meaning is to come back. Next, arrive. And the past participle is arrive. And the meaning is to arrive. Next, Mohir and the past participle is mohr. 
The meaning is to die. Next, patir. And the past participle is pati. Meaning is to leave. So this is for tramp. The most important part of passive composé avec être is accord of past participle. So the rule is when the passive composé is formed with être, the past participle behaves like an adjective. So if you have feminine subject means the doer of the verb is feminine, so you must also have a feminine past participle. Let's see the example. Il est allé. So it's masculine. No feminine subject. So there is no past participle which would be feminine. Next example. Il est allé. Now here the doer or the subject is feminine. So past participle will behave like a adjective. And it would be feminine. So for making it feminine, what will we add? E. Now, same thing happens in case of pluriel. So, if the subject is pluriel, the past participle must also be plural. So let's see the example. Il sont allés. Now here it is masculine pluriel. So, for making masculine plural, the past participle will take S. Next example. Elles sont allées. Now here, the subject is or the doer is feminine plural. And so, to make past participle feminine plural, what will we add? ES. Now, let's conjugate the verb Alle in passé composé. Let's start. Je suis allé. Now here we have added E because je can be feminine. Next, tu es allé. Again E because tu can be feminine. Next, il, elle, on est allé. Again E because the subject can be feminine. Nous sommes allé. We went. So here, E is because nu can be feminine plural. Next, vous êtes allé. Now here, E because vous can be feminine singular. E is vous can be feminine plural. And S because vous can be plural. Next, il est sont allé. Now here, E is because the subject can be Feminine plural as we can see. L. Next S for masculine plural. Now let's learn passé composé with the help of some example. So here is the first example. Choose the correct past participle. So il a dash. Now here are the options. Ale with S. Ale. Ale with ES and Ale. So what is the correct answer? Ale without E because the subject is masculine singular. Now the next example is Il sans dash. So here are the options. Ale with S, Ale, Ale with ES and Ale. So the correct answer is, is Yes, Ali with S because the doer is masculine plural. Next example. Elles sont dash. So here options are Ali, Ali, Ali with ES and Ali. Now the subject and doer is feminine plural. So your answer would be yes, Ali with ES. Now, let's see another example is nous sommes dash. So, here options are same. Ali, Ali, Ali with ES, Ali with E. So, the subject is masculine plural. So, your answer would be 
I live with S. Let's see. Now it's last example. Let's learn. For sure, Shumapel Mahri. Shusri Dash. So let's see the options. And now the answer is don't forget the subject is feminine singular. So your answer would be Ali with E. Very good. 3 3 Bia. Merci. Thank you everyone for watching my video. If you like my video, don't forget to hit the like button and share your comment. Your comments are precious to me. Merci.